Having a great Sunday out there wherever you're at. Uh, this is Brian back with another COSPA update here. Boy, I had a nice move last night here. Um, I think at one time this thing was up like 17%. Um, we go on the daily here, take a look at, uh, let's get a measurement here, see what this thing was up. Yeah, about just about 18, almost 19% actually. All right, so you can see here that we did tap the did tap this wick right over here okay we came up and did tap that I'm gonna uh, we're gonna dig in these charts in a second um, you know from the trend based extension it looks like we should poke a hole in this all-time high here so we're gonna get right back here and look at this thing in a second I got a few things to show you guys first here right the cost of Twitter ended up uh, it says here, big news from the COSPA community. We're crowdfunding for a browser wallet extension, giving you secure and convenient online storage for your costs with user-friendly features, uh, merchant mode, and more. All right, so you can go check that out. Uh, that's officially from COSPA. You can go check that out on the Twitter account there. Um, right here, the COSPA community is excited to share the news at now payments. That, that went live now, so they accept cost and offers uh, your customers a seamless and innovative payment experience. Cost by accepted here. That's now live on uh, at now payments underscore io. We uh, we talked about that news about a week ago, but July 21st it officially went live. If we go down through here, we also have BitGet. Uh, they put a, a tweet on here. BitGet uh, at COSPA currency airdrop. Grab a share of 100,000 COSPA now. Scan the QR code to join. So if you go over to BitGet, uh, you register for a BitGet account via the QR code. Complete any futures trade and uh, you'll get a part of an airdrop of 100,000 COSPA. Now how much that is, it's, it's hard to say. You know, it depends on how many people actually go over there and sign up for this thing so um don't get your hopes up you know maybe who knows maybe you might get 25 i i have no idea depends on how many people like i said bit gets a pretty uh pretty big exchange so um you know could end up not being a whole lot could end up being a lot i, I have no idea how many people are going to sign up for that all right but we go down through here and uh, the last tweet was here uh, from last Sunday, Chapter 3 of the Book of Cosmos. So let's move on here. i uh, got an article here uh, from uh, CaptainAltcoin.com. Cosmos steals the limelight eyes a new all-time high. Uh, it says here, in recent days, the price of cost, the native token of the Cosmos network, has been on an upward trajectory, reaching $0.04 cents and edging close to a new all-time high. Uh, the, uh, the previous all-time high was 0 0.04275. Now, see, on my chart on TradingView, uh, the previous all-time high was 0 0.0445. Okay, right up here, the blue uh, on the chart here. That's theirs. That's not mine. If I, uh, let me move. Let me get this off here first so I can show you. There we go. If I delete that, see, it stays there, 0 0.0445. So I just have my line there so we know. There we go. Put that back up there. That is our all-time high right there. I just keep that on there. But anyway, let's get back to that article. Uh, the all-time high for cost, but it was previously 4275. This development has caught the attention of crypto enthusiasts and investors who are closely monitoring its performance. Uh, absolutely. You know, if this thing double tops, it gets rejected. Um, but if that thing breaks through um, and heads up higher, you're going to see a lot of people jump in here, especially if it breaks that resistance at that all-time high and back tests that as uh, support now. Um, you're really going to see the people pile in here. The anticipation surrounding cost is further amplified by speculation about the launch of smart contracts. Absolutely. I went over that a few days ago. That will be huge. When smart contracts come, it's going to be a big game changer right there. Such speculation as fuel to the fire, driving discussions within the crypto community about the potential impact of the smart contract integration on Cospa's market position in the broader crypto market. Uh, Cospa's impressive performance has also been reflected in its climb up the rankings. It has currently made its way into the top 60. 
uh, prompting some to predict an even brighter future for COS. Despite being in a bear market, COSPA has shown remarkable resilience, leading some to predict further growth. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I mean, we're still technically in a bear market right now. So um, this thing has been unbelievable. If we go over to coin market cap here, uh, look what our market cap is now. Um, geez, just a couple weeks ago, that thing was at uh, 400, 400 and something. We've almost doubled the market cap, $765 million. So uh, if we go into top 100 here, 765. All right, let's go down here. Need one second here. 765. Let's go down through here. If we're in the top 60, it's going to be down. There's 1 billion. I remember our last bull run, not one coin in the top 100 was under a billion dollars. So, uh, 765, that would put us right above Phantom, between Phantom and Mana. So, uh, right at uh, what, 57? Number 57. So, pretty impressive. You know, we start cracking uh, the top 25 and stuff like that, you know. Um, I, I don't believe one dollar is fun at all. I, I believe one dollar is absolutely realistic. You know, possibly higher than that, especially if this thing really, if the smart contracts come, uh, you know, th this thing's heading for that buck. Um, a, a bull run comes, who knows uh, where this thing could go. You know, uh, the FOMO kicks in, people start piling in. Like I said, I watched Cardano go from four cents to over three dollars. Um, you know, I watched Polygon, uh, Matic. Uh, I got it for two cents. I watched it go over three bucks. So, you know, people out there that say a dollar's FUD, um, you really got to do your homework before uh, before you make comments like that. Yeah, it's, really, uh, um, it's really not. So let's move on here, guys. All right, the uh, crypto bubbles. Here's for the day. You know, and us cost beholders, we don't want to hear that. We, we we totally believe that, you know, this thing's almost at four cents. If we don't believe a 25X is possible in a bull run, um, then why are we even here? You know, we all believe that. So um, the people that, uh, you know, come in and, uh, I'm not bashing anybody. Everybody's got their own opinion and stuff like that. But when somebody posts that a dollar is FUD, um, they don't do their homework and obviously they're not holding this token because we don't believe that for one second or we would not be uh, holding this thing because a 25x in a bull run is is not uh, is not an astronomical number okay when you get up to the uh, two three five hundred one thousand x coins that's um, that's uh, that's the ones that uh, you know just come out or brand new or whatever a 25x is what I'm trying to get to is nothing for a bull run absolutely nothing all right is to see a coin go from four cents to a buck absolutely 100% normal in a bull run and uh, like I said them smart contracts hit look out this thing's really gonna start ripping um, for sure all right so all right guys if you would please hit the like and subscribe we're gonna get into these charts here all right first off uh, let me get sorry about that let me get my rate charts up here I got my own COSPA folder here um, first things first Bitcoin dominance getting a little bit of a bounce here uh, it's a 50 percent you can see here this on the daily you can see that things getting a bounce up here uh, let me get my fib off here expected that there's that <clears throat> 618 I always talk about there's that 618 pullback you know perfect that 618 is always uh, they call it the golden pocket golden ratio um, you know that's where most of the time a coin is gonna bounce right so if you take take your Fibonacci take it from your low to your high right there there it is boom 618 you know so if you're out there trading you know little tip if you're not familiar with it if you're out there trading and uh, you're at this part of a trade okay you break uh, you break your uh, momentum heading up here so you know uh, you've broken trend so more than likely a pullback is coming and this thing starts dropping put your fib on there watch for that 618 see if it lines up with any uh, 
support from the past, massive support there, support there, and uh, and watch for that 618 to come in. There's your entry, and, and ride the thing up, you know, if it heads up. So, Bitcoin dominance, let's see where these RSIs are at on this thing on the daily. Uh, just starting up, all right, so... I, I, like I said, I expect Bitcoin to be making a move here. This, this, it's starting to today. Uh, the weekly is the one that uh, this thing should be concerned about. You know, pulling down hard. It's at a 38 and a 61, so that's some uh, that's some hard momentum to the downside. Things pretty high down here. It's still at a what is that a 63 on the regular RSI down here. So. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's going to have some problems actually ripping up there. So the 12 hour uh, at the top, the 8 hour at the top. All right, so I don't expect this thing to make too big of a too big of a jump here. Like I've said before, it could come back up to uh, the 50.9, um, you know, and, and and roll over from there, or it could, could come the whole way back up to this line at 51. 44 and uh, get rejected or depending on how Bitcoin runs here this thing could uh, rip right back up here but that weekly uh, RSI is looking like it's it's gonna have some problems with that Bitcoin's back about 30,000 bucks so that's a that's great news we're up four hundred eighty eight dollars right now uh, if I zoom in here on the hourly you can see the break of resistance here <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me um, you can see the resistance line right here. I'm going to double that up so you can see it better. You can see that resistance, resistance, the fake out the other day right there. Boy, was that frustrating. All right, we have gotten the breakout of the resistance, the back test, and now this thing's starting to go. So uh, good to see. 30,278. Uh, right when I started this video, it was right at this yellow line here. And uh, looks like it's going to get a pretty good push here. Uh, we got that one hour RSI bound at the top. We got the four hour. Uh, it's, it's still bullish, 90 and an 86. Still has some upwards movement. There we go. The eight hours got plenty of room, 74 to 58, and it's heading up. We got a nice big green candle. We're starting to get there. That's what you want to see. I love Sundays for crypto. I don't know what it is. Maybe I have so many fond memories of Sundays during the bull run or something, but. Uh, there's a 52 and a 37 on the 12. Lots of room heading up. The daily just starting up. So Bitcoin's getting ready to go. Uh, look at the weekly, everything, the monthly. It, it's all just lining up for, for Bitcoin to make a massive move here. All right, it's been holding this trend. Let me get on the weekly here so I can show you. Then we'll get rid of that other stuff. But... You can see it's been holding this upward trajectory easily, okay? It could pull the whole way back to this line uh, and still be in an uptrend, all right? As long as it holds this blue line, uh, we're fine, and it's nowhere even close to it. Like I said, the strength it's showing because uh, usually you'd be looking for a 618 pullback like we just talked about. You know, if we go from uh, that move there, whoops. Here we go, right about there, somewhere around there. This thing hasn't even pulled to the 618. Actually, it should be, uh, you know, probably down here, but we're going with just that that move there, you know, nowhere even close to it. So Bitcoin has shown a lot of strength, like we've been talking about for, you know, a week here. It's, it's just gone sideways in there. Look at that just consolidating and winding and winding and winding and winding and now you're finally starting to see a, a push out of here which is great to see all right so anyway that's bitcoin that dxy is back to 101 all right you can see here um it has moved past that first area of resistance all right so we'll be watching that 102 area uh the four hours way at the top the eight hours got to be way up there yeah the 12 yeah these rsis are getting really high the daily daily still got room to go up uh the weekly's coming down and the monthly is actually reset and bullish so um yeah so that thing if you move out in the monthly here you can see some of the moves this thing's made on the monthly um you know the last couple this one here <coughs> excuse me allergies guys horrible time of year for me hate it 
16 uh, percent there this one here was a pretty pretty good run 27 percent almost 28 percent on this monthly here what I'm talking about is this the uh, the runs right up from the bottom to the top you know for this one here from the bottom to the top so when the monthly's reset you can get a pretty decent push out of here but we got the weekly uh, bearish and uh, the dailies heading up on this so it's probably more than likely going to at least come back up to that 102 and then it's going to make its mind up there it's either going to get rejected or, uh, or um, bust through this thing which we're hoping for a rejection I think that's what's going to happen that would make sense with uh, with a big retrace for Bitcoin so right up there at the uh, at that 702 is that blue line so we'll keep an eye on that once it gets that 618 and then it's going to start making uh, decisions here the 702 is is obviously that uh, that's where an ABC could come in if we get stalled out there B legs like to stop at that 702 uh, right where our blue lines at you know then you get your ABC correction coming down so let's move on here the uh, look at the total one and total two starting to move up 19 billion dollars that's the crypto total market cap geez Bitcoin starts moving and there we go still holding that trend line look at that the trend line has been on there for all these days still holding trend and now we're getting a nice break here the daily RSI is just headed up the weekly oh, beautiful weekly is about in the middle monthly oh, it's still going up oh, perfect you know, if we zoom out here on the monthly, uh, you can see the monthly one, two, three. This is the fourth time, and we've gone through this with Bitcoin, all right? Um, the first time, <coughs> excuse me, first time was the 2017 bull run. Second time was the 2019 retrace, 2021 bull run. This is the fourth time. This should be the 2023 retrace, all right? Uh, so we're keeping an eye on that right now we're up uh, 19 and a half billion dollars for the day 1.68 percent all right so that's the crypto total market cap here's the total two without Bitcoin and this is on the monthly chart here wanted to see something here because it looked like let's move that off there a second clean a little bit of this up here it almost looked like uh, no. All right, uh, we got that monthly heading up, the weekly heading up, daily uh, just starting to turn up. You can see the RSI in the bottom has turned up. Uh, the 12 hour just starting up, eight hour, beautiful. Wow, this thing is looking really, really great, and you can see the. Uh, prior resistance here that it flipped into support that's what I'm talking about COSPA if we break through that all-time high if this was COSPA here if we break through it and turn that into support that's when the money's really going to come flying in all right because then you're bouncing back on prior resistance and then you're looking for higher prices for sure all right so we got the eight hour heading up and the four hour heading up looks great I mean, every, everything, you know, can line up and look great, but uh, never means for sure anything is going to happen. That's for sure, right? Cospa here on a four-hour. Boy, it's just holding this trend line beautifully. If we move this down here a little bit. Let me see this thing. What a perfect. There we go. We're going to lock that up. As long as it holds this trend line. All right, we're not looking for... Uh, um, any major major corrections here remember that measurement we did the other day um, with, with the breakout look at that uh, just about perfect you know gave a little wick up there right up here but that measurement that we made the other day you go back and watch that video that yellow line that we put there for the breakout the um, the target for the breakout just about perfect so uh, Let's go through this here. I want to talk. Let's put this on the daily. All right, because I want to show you guys that all-time high up there. All right, our Fibonacci. 
extension is giving us a target all right of just right through that all right I want to get this perfect so let's zoom in here and redo this real quick because I, I want it absolutely perfect all right so up here into a retrace all right let's see what that does well that one there for some reason didn't measure out like the last one let me make sure i got everything 100 percent correct here Yeah, giving us a target just short, just short. All right, what we're going to need, uh, obviously, we're going to need some buyers coming in here. All right, we do have rising. Uh, right down here, we have, uh, you can see the money line is heading up, which that's what you want to see for sure, okay, especially in a run, okay, with our market cap uh, doubling in the past week here. Um, which was huge okay but this is that one two three four five if you guys remember here now you can start to see it playing out one two that three line remember I always say that uh, three wave is always your longest all right that fourth I believe could bring us down we're gonna do a measurement here in a second and then that fifth once we start getting up to these areas okay that's where we're gonna need the buyers really stepping in here okay because that could bust us up through there i believe i believe we're gonna break it i really that's my personal opinion all right a double top i did, nobody wants to see that okay um but that doesn't mean the end of the world at all all right that just uh a double top is never a, a good sign all right i want to show you here with gold if we go out on the weekly with gold all right check this out this thing is triple topped okay so it's never uh and you can see it's getting ready uh, to make another run here all right the weekly is reset on it this is gold by the way uh it's your regular gold that daily is is kind of is rolling over here but we got the weekly the monthly is uh just but bearish 12 hour uh it's coming down eight hour is just about reset but that uh zoom out here that weekly with that weekly reset gold's going to make another run here all right you can see the you know the triple top right there with that thing so doesn't mean the end of the world like i said even this uh when it came up here and got rejected it reconsolidated made another one it got rejected harder that time made another run this time it hasn't gotten rejected so hard it hasn't pulled down as far so keep your eye on gold that thing could uh could end up uh, breaking through there you know especially uh like i said if it uh we got this weekly reset but we do have that monthly getting to the top it's at an 84 and an 87 the weekly is there any divergence here that low yeah well doesn't really matter right now but cost is what we're interested in here let's take a look here and see this is on the weekly and look at our weekly still heading up here down here we're at a 77 and a 52 all right so this thing is still uh still got some upward momentum going here the daily uh at the top still bullish 96 and a 93 12 hour still heading up 85 and a 72 eight hour uh is correcting 79 and 89 that flip bearish and our four hours correcting okay so what could this mean as far as any type of pullback that's what we're interested in right now because quite honestly one two three if we're gonna have a fourth wave pullback it's gonna come in it's gonna come in now all right, so let's put a fib on here and see where this could bring us. And if you're interested in joining the channel, guys, 
uh, for $2.99 a month. Uh, you can do that in the description of the video. It would be very much appreciated. Um, there we go. You can see that 618 is right on the yellow line here. Uh, that's where I am expecting uh, probably a pullback here. With that daily at the top, um, no big deal. Just normal, normal, normal stuff. From here, you're looking at you know 20% correction. Um, totally 100% normal. Okay, especially in a five wave. Uh, the 618 is that area 0 0.0309 um, you're going to see a lot of buyers waiting right here okay you got your like I said you got your four waves one two three your buyers are waiting right here okay that's where the momentum that we get from here is going to determine if we bust through and make an all time high or not okay you're going to have a pile of buyers sitting here. When we get close to that, we're going to keep an eye on the volume because uh, you're going to see that 618 pullback. That's where you're going to see, uh, like I said, a pile of people step in here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we have a big green candle like over here and uh, it shoots this thing right through there. Okay, but our trend-based extension has given us a target just short. All right, but the, quite honestly, if we do get rejected up here, all right, worst case scenario, this thing goes up, we double top, okay, come back down, reconsolidate for a week or two, give that daily and everything a time to uh, chill out, and then we get our next run up here, all right, regardless whether it's, uh, you know, within the next day or two or, or the next month we're going to break this all-time high there's no question in my mind about that this thing uh this thing is just showing way too much strength now it's starting to get a bunch of attention it's in the top uh you know top 65 coins so um that's great to see all right guys thank you so very very much please hit the like and subscribe uh, if you're interested in the uh, bitcoin or cospa shirts check out the link in the description of the video and uh i hope everybody has a great night thanks a lot